Where's? About the monoliths. I placed all the stones in the monoliths. Thanks be to the builders. You've done good work, lad. Here, take this as a reward for your heroic deeds. I'm sure you can use it. What'll happen now? We need to check a couple of things before we can try to start the reactor. You'd best come back later, if you want to be there when it happens. What should I do in the meantime? Master Zacharias is busy, so maybe you'll find answers elsewhere. Travel the world and broaden your horizons. Join a faction as well. General Magnus can tell you a bit about the Guardians. Right. I, uh... Oh. What was I doing? Together we can do it! Damn seagulls! Squawk! Squawk! Far and wide, there's no land in view. Helmsman! Rudder hard to port.
Oh, shiver me timbers. Yet another figment. And an evil smelling one, too. Figment? The thing can even talk. These critters are becoming ever more resourceful. Right, if you say so. Damn right I'm saying so. Interested in bartering? Right. What the fuck do you want to exchange? Well, what? Why should I swap anything with you? Bartering was your idea. Oh yes, so it was. Well, I'll give you 200 gold for a bottle of booze and some provisions. You're fucking crazy. Okay, 300 gold. But I want the stuff immediately. Do you hear? Immediately. There you go. Your booze and some provisions. And here's your gold. <laughs> Idiot. Old Brian has ripped you off nicely there. Yeah, you just keep believing that. Why are you here? I'm stranded on this forsaken piece of earth. The captain simply threw me overboard. I only survived because I was able to collect rainwater in my boots. Really doesn't taste very good. Why were you thrown off the ship? <laughs> the good Brian made a bit of a mess of things, yes. Yes, he did indeed. What did you do? I robbed the captain long before we reached land. Of course, he noticed immediately and I had to walk the plank. Then, I woke up here. You do know that the Tyrannus Harbour isn't far from here. What? There's a harbour not far from here. I'd have to swim. I'll never swim again. And besides, I don't want a harbor. I want a cave. A cold cave just for me. What will you give me if I find you a cave? When I was stranded here, I found this thing. I'll give it to you if I never have to see the sun again. I'll try and find you a bloody cave. Good. But make sure it's cold and uninhabited. I don't want to share.
here I come. Enchanted cloth protected me from all their magical weapons. How was I to know that he would attack me with a plain old knife? I was supposed to hide it somewhere nearby. Hmm. I found you a cave. You have? Where is it? Here, on the other side of the island. I see. As I see it, there are creatures in every cave. Did you get rid of them? Yeah. Rats. Excellent. The next rat that dares come in the cave will make a good roast. You eat them? Of course. Beggars can't be choosers. And since you helped me, you won't go empty-handed. Here. Additionally, I'll make you my first officer. I'd rather not.
I suppose the death of that treacherous Shadow Lord on Tyrannis was down to you. A job well done, my friend. As far as I'm concerned, everything can stay just the way it is. Come on, let's go. Of course! hear that? Um, no. What do you hear? Those voices. Sure you can't hear them. Well... Never mind. I was probably just hearing things. If you want to come to our pirate's den, head towards the old wreck down in the south. I'm sure we can spare you a proper shot. Are you all right? Why? If I had yet another blackout, oh well, just ignore it. You'll start getting them as well if you stay here. All oh, right, and watch out for that warrior by the name of Borbor. That native has been watching our camp for days now. Where is this warrior? He's somewhere on the path to the jungle towards the southwest. Don't let him cast a spell on you, you hear me? Those native warriors are known for the use of voodoo and that sort of hocus-pocus. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Right. <clears throat> there. There were those voices again. Or not. Interesting shipwreck. I wonder how many sea miles it's traveled. Hey. What are you doing skulking around here? I don't like people snooping around behind my back. I've only just arrived in the region. So, do you want to help us build a new pirate's den? Uh, no. I thought as much. Anyway, it reminds me of that time on Takarigua. Everything was blazing away and then boom! The cauldron exploded. Everything was reduced to black ashes. And it was Patty's fault alone. Damn witch. Good lord, what did he have for breakfast? No idea, but I don't want any. 
Where can I find Patty? She was a coward and fled before I could bring her to justice. Ah, she escaped my clutches, the wretch. There's only one place around here where they could have hidden themselves. There's a small island to the north. Search there. What's the matter with you? With me? Nothing. The others are to blame for everything. First Patty wants to kill us all, and then Harry mutinies. Bloody ungrateful scum. Turning their backs on me, killing my men. But this gang won't be laughing for much longer. All right, just calm down. Well, maybe you're in cahoots with them too. I'm warning you, nobody does the dirty on me that easily. What's your problem with Harry? That treacherous dog. Calm down, will you? Why don't you distill a barrel of rum and then all get completely rat assed Yeah, good idea. That's what I was thinking. I wanted to distill some very special rum, but then, guess who I sent to gather the ingredients and who didn't come back? Harry the sneaky bastard. You know what? You're going to pay him a visit and fetch the delivery for me. And then we'll have a little party with all our friends here and get drunk until nobody can stand up anymore. What do you think? I'll talk to Harry. Very good. Get that delivery here. And hurry!
You stink! Isn't there anything to eat here? Hey there, little one! Wonderful, yet another big gob on the island that needs a sock in it. Yeah, fuck you too. Oh, come on, that wasn't what I meant. I've been a bit grouchy of late. Everyone seems to be losing their mind bit by bit around here. The rum rations used to be bigger, and there's no women either. Apart from that, the whole mutiny thing still weighs heavily on my heart. Booze said you still owed him a delivery. Good grief, don't give me that sob story. Do you have any idea what Booze just demanded of me? Freshly harvested sugar cane. Nonsense. He wanted spider eggs. Three of them. And? And? You haven't got a clue, have you? Those things are bloody poisonous. He could kill the entire camp with three eggs. Actually, I thought you were joking, and now you show up. Do you think he's capable of it? You'll only find that out if he gets his eggs. I can do without that. But, you give me an idea. Firebird eggs look exactly the same and are absolutely harmless. If you want to get to the bottom of this, you could perhaps plant them on him. I'll get the three firebird eggs for booze. Good, you do that. I can't wait to see the result. What's the mood here in the camp? Shit. Douglas is gone, and I bet Booze had something to do with it. You don't dare fall asleep for fear of getting a knife in your back. And escaping into the jungle is a bad idea. The native tribe doesn't like strangers. First off, it would make me feel a lot better if someone checked on Douglas. I'll find Douglas for you. Do that. I hope you find him in one piece. I don't like to lose a good man. You look like you're a good fighter. Well, I don't want to brag, but I do know the odd trick. Sea battles and mutinies make you tough, you know. Why'd you ask? Do you want me to teach you how to fight? Well, yeah. Considering the spider infestation on this island, it's probably good being able to defend yourself. Tell me about the pirates. Aye. Who's Douglas? Ordinary seaman, smart guy, good at climbing and with a sword. We sent him out to scout the area. What area? Well, by going around the camp here. He's set off in the direction of the small beach to the east. Maybe he went into one of the caves. I'm looking for a pirate by the name of Patty. Really? What do you want with that cheeky slapper? She's my sister. Um, oh, oh I, I didn't mean any offense by that. She left us some time ago. There's an offshore island north of here, opposite the big bay. Paddy set up camp there. She might still be there if you're lucky. Right. Good. Thank you. I'd like to hear about the mutiny. Well, that was a real mess. 
Booze reckons Patty set fire to the pirate's den on Takarigua. I trusted her. We all did. Who knows what goes on inside a woman's head. Anyway, shortly after we went ashore, she flew the coop and dived into the water. Tough minks, I'm telling you. What can you tell me about Hawkins? Keeps talking to himself. The lights are on, but no one's home, if you catch my drift. Other than that, he's a reliable guy. Unfortunately, he's scaring the lads witless with his tails. Sissies. So what do you think of Booze? Hey, I was always loyal. I obeyed him even when he mutinied against Paddy. But now, I think he's lost his mind. Beware of him. That's all I'm saying. Anything you can teach me? What would you like to know? How about some tips on handling piercing weapons? More often than not, you catch only a short glimpse of your target's unprotected areas. This means that you probably won't be able to penetrate very deeply with your blade. In that case, simply be patient. Keep dodging and stabbing until your enemy writhes in pain. Endurance is the name of the game in this case. I don't know anything else about piercing weapons. Only the mages know more about this than I do. Go to them if you want to know more. I want to be more skilled with slashing weapons. Always try to hit your enemy's joints. Getting hit in the stomach by a slashing weapon hurts, but that's all. However, if you shatter your opponent's knee, you're at a distinct advantage. What do you sell? Here's something. So, he got himself a huge diamond and used it as a blade sharpener. His sharpened blades then became his chief asset. It sounds as if the diamond is still available.
I don't believe my eyes. Is that really you? It would seem that way. What? What kind of devilry is this? We buried you. You were as dead as a doornail, man. Yeah, I'm happy to see you too, Jake. Really? Good for you. Wish I could share your enthusiasm. You should have stayed where we buried you. How on earth did you do that? Some kind of voodoo stuff? Something like that. I knew it, man. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Patty. As far as I know, she wanted to head north. But I'm not entirely sure. Go and ask Harry over in the store. I think he was the last one to see her. All hell has been unleashed in the Southern Seas, and you're fucking about here. Since when have you been bothered about the Southern Seas, eh? That's not our business. As long as the ghost ships don't attack us here, everything's fine as it is. I want my old ship back. You can forget all about that. You're no longer our captain. Understand? I have no idea what hellhole you sprang from, but your time is over. We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah. Here come the threats and the beatings again. But that won't help you. This ship won't move an inch without a crew. And the lads here now do what I say. So save yourself the bother, all right? It seems like everyone does whatever they want here. Listen, man, we were willing to follow you as long as you were the strongest among us. But look at you now. You're not even half what you once were. I won't be able to take you seriously again until you get your strength back. Go and talk to the natives. They'll know what to do with someone who is half dead. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a voodoo trick or two. Now that would impress me. All right. Are you going to join in the fight? Or are you just going to wait until the shadows overrun you and your boat? We're only a small crew here. Why should we mess with the shadows on the high seas? What if the natives back us up? They've got a nice bit of crumpet there. I think her name is Charney, a voodoo witch. I saw how she slashed her way through the jungle. None of those creatures there even had a chance. That girl is really something, man. You should try and convince her to take part in your little war against the shadows. If you manage that, you can count me in. Right. You? But... but... you're alive! You bastard! I thought you were dead! What the...? Damn! How can that be? You were dead! Yeah, I know. Yet here I am. I buried you. It's complicated. Yeah, I'd like to hear how you're going to explain that. I've lost my spirit. Yeah, sure. I've known that for ages. No, listen. This is serious. The underworld is reaching out to me. I only have a short time. Who knows how long? I'm nothing more than a walking corpse. Don't talk bollocks, little brother. You're standing here before me large as life.
I know this isn't easy to understand. I'm struggling to grasp the concept too. I must find my spirit again, or I'll suffer a fate worse than death. Uh, all right, but... but how? I don't quite know yet. I'm working on it. I may need your help. Yeah, of course you do. And from now on, wherever you go, I'll be right beside you. Where's your ship? I have a sloop. A fucking sloop? You need a fucking ship. I know, but it's all I've got. Then I'll wait here on Keela until you have a decent ship. I'd only be excess ballast with this little thing. How did you land on Keela? Well, after I... buried you on the Crab Coast, I went to Takarigua. But the bloody shadows were everywhere. They almost caught us, but we got away. I've never seen Booze and his men set sail so quick. Why didn't you stay with Booze and his men? Booze? Forget it. During the passage, he seized command. But as we went ashore, it got even worse. One went into a dark cave at night and never came out. Another one just gawped at me and followed me everywhere. And yet another idiot just stood by the campfire ranting about the end of the world. I was safer on the small island at the far end of the bay. You gave our old ship to Booze's men. Like I said, I had to escape. I really didn't care about the bloody ship. Booze has caused you real problems, right? Well, if the bastard had been alone, things would be very different today. But that's no longer important. Something else is driving me even more crazy. Tell me. Guess who's arrived on Keela? The suspense is killing me. You remember that greasy sleaze bag who sold us the treasure map? That map was the reason we went to Crab Coast. The fucker's on Keela. He's called Slim. Let's find him and make short work of him. Where's Slim hiding? That's the problem. I heard he was captured by the natives. So hurry if you want to deal with him yourself. The Keela are hardly renowned for their hospitality. Thank you. 